Yes, everyone, and welcome to another episode of uh, the Snack Review with me, Randy Prizzle. And obviously, yes, this is obviously what I'm eating today. Some uh, Richmond's uh, meat-free sausages. Now, obviously, these sausages, quite surprising. Didn't expect them to taste the way they did. That's just sweet potato, by the way, so ignore that. They are, I mean, these these lot, they're definitely the Irish sausages. Well, meat-free, you know. Um, very surprising because it does have that slight sausage taste to it and I didn't expect it to have that. Uh, what do you think about it? You tasted one. What is your thoughts on that? Yeah, um, they were good. They were better than I expected, again, but it has a slight gingery taste. Mm. I don't know if that's to give off a meat taste, but it kind of throws you off that gingery taste. But overall, pretty good. And the texture was like a sausage texture. So. Yeah. I yeah. mean, I got the vibes from it as well. It was very sausage-like and that. I'll give them a thumbs up, definitely. For yeah. Uh, uh, this, by the way, this sauce is just the whiskey sauce. So it's like a, you know, um, barbecue whiskey sauce, which is quite nice, by the way. You can definitely taste the whiskey in that. Uh, oh yeah, I should have reviewed this as well. You know, to be honest, it's quite nice. So the sauce is good. Definitely would recommend the sauce. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, a little sauce, by the way. So do is check out your local. Little, either one or the other. So some people say it's little. Some people say that, well, we mainly call it little. Liddell, but yeah. yeah, I mean, some people say that's wrong. It's little. But it doesn't really matter, to be honest. You know, you know what it is when you see the big L on there. It's one of them. All right. So yeah, these for me, I'm gonna give these. 7.7 7, I would say fair result um I think what would I say is missing um more of that je ne sais quoi I don't know what it is but it's missing something but these definitely are good as meat free versions you know and you never expect meat free to taste like it's actually meat you know what I mean and that's kind of surprised me and it's probably once in a while that I've had meat free stuff I don't usually you know, mess around with this meat free thing because I'm meat all day, every day, M majority of the days, you know, apart from today. Because today, obviously, I had this meat free sausage. But, you know, apart from all that, I'm going to give it a 7.7. 7. What would you give it? What do you think? Uh, 6.5. 6.5. Yeah. Well, it's fair. It's, uh, it was a good, good substitute for someone that doesn't eat meat. But for someone that eats meat, you can definitely tell that it's not meat. Mm. Yeah, 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 you can tell. I mean, with the ginger vibes as well and stuff. Yeah. But it still had that sausage vibe to it, which kind of... It still does the job in a way, you know, that, that makes it meaty. So that's why I'm giving it, and that's the snack review for this time. See you on the next episode.